All right, time to go outside, catch that glimpse of the rare super blood wolf moon. The lunar eclipse happening right now, just about to enter full totality. It is the closest orbit to Earth, making it the super moon. Jessica Barreto is at the Garden of the Gods, where hundreds of other people are watching this happen in clear skies, beautiful conditions. Jessica, how's it looking out there? That's right. That's right, the lunar eclipse is in its totality. Now the moon has totally moved into the Earth's shadow and will remain there for about a half hour or so. Now I want to give you a look at what the super blood wolf moon looks like right now. We're going to tilt straight up right now. Now as you can see, it may look a little dim, but the moon is supposed to darken a little bit, although you can still see that spectacular blood red color that is coming from sunlight filtering through the Earth's atmosphere and hitting the moon. It's a really spectacular sight to see and one that only comes around every 18 years. About 1,500 people have been seizing the opportunity to witness the rare event out here. Lots of kids trying to catch a glimpse through the many telescopes the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society brought in. I saw lots of craters in the shading. And what do you think? It was really cool. It's really amazing. Like, usually um, you only see it like a couple of times in your life, and it's really amazing. There was also another event like this one at the Air Force Academy. Both are expected to wrap up around 11 o'clock tonight. The most fascinating part was to see how bright the moon was before the shadow started creeping up from below before engulfing it completely like you can see it right now. Again, only about a half hour left before this site is over. So it's not too late to see it for yourself if you haven't already. I know this is my second moon like this. I saw the first one when I was just a little kid. But again, there's always 2037. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Jessica Barreto, News 5.